Some voters and elected officials are concerned with future plans for the St. Lucie River Railroad Bridge. Our Steve King joins us live from Stewart with a closer look at those concerns. Steve? Tiffany Felicia, the St. Lucie River Railroad Bridge new schedule is in operation, so it now opens twice an hour at the 15 and 45 minute marks for 15 minutes each time, and this allows Brightline to test its future Miami to Orlando expanded service, which could begin in September, but some voters are worried about what this could mean for them moving forward. John Sprague, chair of governmental affairs for the Marine Industries Association of Florida says, while he thinks the current St. Lucie River Railroad Bridge schedule that went into effect this week allows adequate boater access, he's not sure what the future holds for the St. Lucie Waterway in Stewart when the expanded Miami to Orlando Brightline service is available or when the nearly 100 year old railroad bridge is eventually replaced. We do have a concern. It's an important waterway, but none of that's a federal waterway. I mean, there aren't very many federal waterways. That'd be like you going along in your car 995 and then you got to stop and you wait for some bicycles going across or something. He also says with people flocking to Florida, he thinks boat, train and vehicle traffic will only increase. Congressman Brian Mass says the Federal Railroad Administration did not do its job in this process, instead siding with Brightline while not weighing all of the project's impacts. And he says this will significantly impede either boat traffic, vehicle traffic or both. Brightline says they're working with the Federal Railroad Administration, Florida East Coast Railway, and the Coast Guard to come up with a solution that benefits all stakeholders. And they're working to do that before the possible September launch of the expanded service for Brightline. The company says in part, quote, the consensus of the U.S. Coast Guard, Florida Railroad Administration, Florida East Coast Railway, Brightline, and many in the local community is that a permanent solution crafted around a new doable track bridge that widens the marine passage and allows over 90 percent of current boat traffic to pass without opening is in the best interest of enhanced utility, safety, and operational flexibility. And we've reached out to the Federal Railroad Administration for a comment. The U.S. Coast Guard says that they're looking at the impacts of this new bridge schedule. They're also collecting public input, and they'll be releasing their findings on August 4th. Reporting live in Stewart, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.